Jig, Bill Ferrello. Hey, I got this Porter Cable um, multi material saw, three and a half inch blade. Uh, I wanted something small. I wanted it to plug in. I didn't want a battery to have to replace later. You know how that goes. You wear your battery out and then you gotta spend more money on the replacement battery than it does to cost to buy a whole new tool. So I wanted plug in. Um, it's a cool little saw, man. It will not, I'll tell you right now, it will not cut two by fours. It leaves about a quarter, eh, maybe an eighth of an inch, a quarter inch. Uh, and that's at the deepest cut on this thing. So if you want it for cutting two by fours out in the field, don't, don't get it. You'll need one of those lighter weight battery powered ones. But, but like I said, I got this for the, for the shop. I wanted a quick, easy way to rip plywood. Um, and this was my my resolve for that and I really like the tool everybody knows Porter Cable is a great brand I'm sure this will last forever it's really heavy built all steel plates all steel um, shields and everything everything's everything's solid on this thing um, not crazy about the laser at first it was way off um, I figured out and made a video on how to adjust their so-called factory precision tuned laser. No, <laughs> it was off a quarter inch. I guess my uh, my definition of precision tune was different than theirs. But anyway, there's a video I did about adjusting that. Um, the only other thing I couldn't stand on this was this trigger lock. If you notice, this is a plunging. It's a plunging tool. It's spring-loaded plunge. Okay, the plunge would not plunge without holding this, and the trigger would not trigger without holding this. It was a pain because you had to kind of hold this this part of your thumb, try to trigger and try to push this down. It got your wrist all awkward. It is a pain in the butt. Now I don't have to mess with the with the lock because I modified it. I'm not suggesting you guys modify it. It's a safety feature. It's there for a reason. I recommend that you don't modify it. But personally, for me, I'm taking my own risk. I wanted to modify it to make it easier to use. And now it's a breezy use because I don't have to worry about that button. I could just trigger, plunge, and go. So, I've used it on a few projects now. I absolutely love the saw. Um, I actually, I built a privacy fence out there and you know, like I said, I couldn't use it on the 2 by 4s but some of the pickets need to be adjusted. The bottoms need to be trimmed a little bit. And, man, you just pick this thing up zip it right off. It's so easy and fast and lightweight. So that's my quick review on the Porter Cable. 3.5 inch multi-material saw. I'd give it probably 4 stars. I'd give it 5 if it wasn't for the stupid lock on there. Uh, so... There you go. Hope it helps.